Then made a charge. On July 11, 1945, a sedan left Los Alamos carrying one half of the world's supply of plutonium in two hemispheres the size of half grapefruits. For months, scientists and technicians had been making this trip from Los Alamos, 200 miles south to the Alamogordo bombing range, to prepare for the Trinity test. We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means if the Nazis have a bomb. On a desert valley named by Spanish explorers the Jornada del Muerto, Dead Man's Route, the sedan and its security convoy passed through guarded barriers and entered base camp. They have a 12-month head start. 18. How could you possibly know that? We've got one hope. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Preliminary assembly of the first nuclear bomb was carried out in the McDonald Ranch House in a room sealed and lined with plastic to protect the finely machined weapon parts from the constantly blowing dust. Keep everyone there until it's done. Thousands of miles of electrical lines were strung to connect experiments which would measure optical, mechanical, and nuclear effects. President Truman was at Potsdam, awaiting the results of the test so that the Allies could plan their attack on Japan. Truman needs to know what's next. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Scientists were working with components and instruments delivered just barely in time. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? They had to commit themselves and their experiments to the test. July 13th, they began the final assembly. The bomb was hooked up to a crane which would lift it to the tower. July 14th, finally the ride to the top. Cables, detonators, informer, initiator hookup. July 15th, final dry runs. Tension, everything ready. July 16th, a rainstorm with spectacular lightning delayed the test from 2 a.m. to 5.29 a.m. Just before dark. I don't dark. work here. Dignitaries Wasn't you sure a piece of mankind that you've never seen? Hills. Participants and watchers were instructed to lie on the ground, facing away from the tower. Only after the initial flash could they look at the developing fireball through welders got it. A flare in the sky signaled the final countdown. calculated to be brighter than a thousand suns. Miles away, a young girl, blind from birth, saw the flash. Men at the site felt the heat of a desert sun. Then came the shockwave. Two GIs at the command center stood up in their excitement at seeing the boiling cloud and were knocked to the ground. The roar followed, a cascading thunderclap that rolled and boomed out across the desert. Patient watchers on the mountainsides around Los Alamos saw the flash and heard the distant boom. The coded message sent to Potsdam read, Operated on this morning. Diagnosis not yet complete, but results seem satisfactory and already exceed expectations. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. 